Yes, my old friend, I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping. Five sequel planets I want to see in Battlefront 2. Okay, so earlier, I think a month ago, I did a series where I did five heroes and villains we need in every era. I did sequel, prequel, and original era. I started with prequel and I made my way to the sequel. And now for this series, I'm going to do five planets for sequel era, original era, and prequel era. They won't just be planets. I have some on the list that actually are ships. So there's maps, planets, whatever you call them. Anyway, I'm going to start with sequels first since I start with prequels last time and I'm make my way up to the prequels. So yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Some are in the trailer for Battlefront 2, but they aren't confirmed as a playable map. So I don't know if we're going to be able to play it on this planet. And also, there aren't a lot of sequel planets to go with anyway, because, well, we've only gotten one film of this. So yeah, let's get into the list. Number five, Crate. Crate isn't a planet probably a lot of you do not know. Crate is that red soil planet that we see in the last Jedi trailer for about three seconds. I don't expect it to be in the game immediately it's probably gonna be a dlc map but just by its three seconds of fame in the trailer how it looks like in the game will probably be really cool red soil going everywhere if let's say those first order AT-ATs shooting at the ground maybe the developers can make it so red soil pops out of the ground i don't i don't know it just looks really cool and the environment would be really fun to play on and who knows there might be a city on that planet somewhere so red soil planet why not number four dakar the car is the resistance base that we see in The Force Awakens. There's nothing much to it, that's why it's low on the list. It's just a forested planet. So, I mean, we have a lot of those already. It just be cool connecting tissue, maybe we can explore the resistance base. Because we haven't gotten to see a lot of it, really. The most you actually see of the resistance base is in the LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens game, to be honest, so. In the film, all we see is the inside. So maybe this would be a good connecting way to explore the planet itself and the resistance base. Number three, Takodana. This is one of the planets that was in the Battlefront 2 trailer, but we don't know if it's a playable map or not yet. I'm gonna say it is, but since we don't know if it's confirmed or not, I'm just gonna throw it on the list, since there isn't a lot of planets in the sequel trilogy yet. Takodana is an interesting map. We could see Mods Kanata's castle, we could see outside the castle in the forest, that could, that could probably make for a really good close quarters map, and plus it'd just be really cool to be in a close quarters forest, because Endor is kind of big, and I say big as in like, there's a lot of open areas, but there's huge trees. With Takodana, it's more close quarters, small trees, so that would be an interesting twist on the planet. Plus, we'll be able to see Maz Kanata's castle fully, kind of like Jabba's palace, but Maz Kanata's castle. Number two. The Finalizer. This is one of those things that isn't a planet, but it's a map. Being on the First Order Star Destroyer would actually be really cool. I didn't put Starkiller Base because we already know Starkiller Base is a confirmed planet to play on, so I didn't feel the need to put that in here, so I chose the Finalizer. In the film, I believe we only saw like three scenes of the Finalizer, so we don't know what it looks like on the inside, really. We know the bridge, the hangar, and corridors. That's about it. So maybe they could expand upon that so we can learn more about the Finalizer in the films. Plus, it's a really cool design, and maybe you could even have a space battle map with the finalizer. It's a really cool design of a Star Destroyer. Don't get me wrong, it really is. I just want to mention one honorable mention real quick, and that is Octu, the planet with the islands that Luke was on. I didn't put it in here because, well, I don't really want to play on an island, and I doubt they're going to put it in the game. Because rumors have it that they're only going to be on Octu for like 30 minutes or something. So I don't see this planet being as much importance to put it in the main game. So yeah. Anyway, it'd be cool, yes, but I don't see it happening. And finally, number one. Probably some of you will disagree with this, but Jakku. The reason I put Jakku at number one is because we know a lot more about Jakku now after novels like Aftermath Empires and Lost Stars, etc. Jakku, in the first Battlefront, felt like it was a custom map on Halo that someone made in Forge. It just AT-ATs everywhere, ATSCs everywhere, crashing ships everywhere, Star Destroyers everywhere. Basically, a orgy of vehicles just crashed, destroyed on the ground. Personally, I did not like that at all. I felt like it was stupid and really just poorly made. And plus, the only ships that are in that map at Battlefront 1 is Star Destroyers and Mon Calamari MC-80 ships, which isn't right itself. There were tons of ships. There was in the Super Star Destroyer, of course, but there were new Rebellion ships that were used. It's called, ah, uh, crap. I forget what it's called, but there's a new ship 
the Rebellion made. There was only three of them, and one actually pulled the Super Star Destroyer down to the ground by using, um, Tractor Beam. Just seeing that in the game would be really cool, because in canon, the way the Super Star Destroyer fell on the ground, the Rebellion used one of their new ships. I think it was, like, the hack? The... Crap, I can't... Oh, I don't know. I can't remember the ship. Crap. Okay. It was in the Aftermath Empire's End book. If, if any of you remember that ship, please comment it down below, because I can't remember it for the life of me, but... The tractor beam, they improved on weapons and shields and of course and all that, but the thing they improved on the most was the tractor beam. The tractor beam was three times as powerful as the original tractor beam, so it could pull three times the size of its ship. So after the Super Star Destroyer was firing on that ship, it, the tractor beam locked onto the Super Star Destroyer and pulled it down to the planet below. We didn't get to see that in the first Battlefront because that wasn't made yet. Now, but now that we know that, that was a thing, maybe they can add that to the game. And just make make it more accurate continuity-wise, from the certain scenes we got in the trailer of it, it looks a lot more accurate. So yeah, maybe, just maybe, we'll see a more accurate representation of the Battle of Jakku in Battlefront 2. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, blast a like, and all that good stuff. Do you agree with my list? If you don't, comment down below what planets you would rather see. Or if you did, comment down below why you agree with me. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you are new, why don't you subscribe for all things Star Wars. This is the First Order, signing out.